In this video, you will know what is DNS hijacking or redirection attacks. We will also discuss the types of DNS hijacking. At the end of this video, you will learn how to protect yourself from DNS hijacking, so watch the whole video. Before we start this guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. To understand DNS hijacking, let's first understand how the DNS works. DNS stands for Domain Name System. In simple words, DNS works like a phone book. If you want to call someone, you check the phone book to get their phone number. Similarly, if you want to open a website, the DNS gives you the IP address for that website. To open a website, you need to know its server IP address because computers only understand that. However, remembering the IP address is not easy for us. That's why the DNS is implemented. We just have to remember the domain name. The DNS will resolve the IP address for that domain. For example, to open google.com, you enter it on the browser. Your browser contacts the DNS server to know its IP address. The DNS server searches for google.com on its list and sends the IP address of its server. Now your browser will send the rest of the queries to that IP address. Now let's understand what DNS hijacking is. Cyber criminals hack the DNS either by changing the DNS server address or intercepting the communication between your device and the DNS server. After hacking, they replace the actual server IP address with their site. If you try to open google.com, you will be redirected to the hacker's page. Hackers could use the DNS hijacking or redirection attack to display advertisements or display a phishing website to steal your confidential information. They generate revenue by advertising or stealing your money directly by infiltrating the bank login details or credit card. Now, let's see the types of DNS hijacking. Local DNS hijacking. Hackers could use a Trojan to replace the DNS server address on the user's computer. They change the DNS server setting so that the user can be redirected to the hacker's site. Router DNS hijacking. Cyber criminals could take advantage of the vulnerability in the router's firmware and change the DNS server settings. Hijacking the DNS on the router level will affect all the users connected through that router. Man in the middle DNS hijack. In this type of DNS hijacking, hackers intercept the communication between your device and the DNS server. They catch the DNS server reply, replace the website server IP address, and then send it back to your device. You won't suspect anything, since your settings are accurate and you have entered the correct website URL. Hijacking DNS Server Hackers identify the DNS servers with weak security and hack them. They replace the IP address of the websites, so whenever you try to open a website, you are redirected to the malicious site. What is DNS spoofing and DNS cache poisoning? DNS spoofing is an attack in which the attackers spoof the DNS result without changing the DNS server settings on the end user computer. A typical DNS spoofing act is cache poisoning or DNS poisoning. In DNS cache poisoning, the attackers spoof the DNS cache, redirecting the user to the malicious site. The DNS cache is used to speed up the DNS resolve process. When you open a website, its IP address is resolved from the DNS server. Then it is stored as a DNS cache so that you don't have to contact the DNS server again. Next time you try to open the same website, the DNS cache stored on your computer quickly resolves the IP address, speeding up the whole process. Hackers poison this cache by replacing the IP address so you are directed to their malicious site instead of the actual site. So what is the difference between DNS spoofing and DNS hijacking? DNS hijacking or DNS redirection typically involves malware infection that changes the DNS settings on the user's computer. The malware replaces the TCP IP DNS server address with the malicious one, so all DNS queries are sent to the hacker's DNS server. They can redirect you to the malicious server either on entering a specific domain or every time you try to access a site. While DNS spoofing is an act where hackers spoof the DNS records, they can use DNS poisoning to spoof the local DNS cache on your computer. 
They can also intercept the communication between your PC and DNS server and spoof the DNS records. Also, hackers can hijack the DNS server and spoof the DNS records directly there. How to protect yourself from DNS hijacking Protecting yourself from DNS hijacking or spoofing can be a little tedious since there are several levels involved. Hackers can hijack the DNS of a website and can easily redirect users visiting it. Also, they can hack the whole DNS server, changing the IP addresses for all websites. If you own a website or manage a domain name server, you should straighten the security measures. You can use DNS SEC to encrypt the communication between users and DNS server. You can also use DNS spoofing detection tools and end-to-end -end encryption to safeguard the users. Prevention tips for the endpoint users. Regularly scan for malware. Hackers take the help of the malware to change the DNS settings on your PC. So, you should regularly scan your PC with robust anti-malware. Install the latest security updates to your PC and keep all of your software up to date. Change default password for the routers. Hackers can easily take over your routers if you don't change the default password and install the latest firmware updates. Use VPN. VPN allows you to browse the internet securely. There are fewer DNS hijacking chances if you use a VPN. Use secure DNS servers. You can try secure DNS servers such as Google Public DNS over HTTPS or use OpenDNS to prevent the ISP from showing you advertisements. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share the video with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.